in the process where I take a tip from uh, Rapunzel or everyone and actually and then use those tips to uh, reinforce my uh, Now, do you not agree that the young generation of Zimbabwean artists are suffering from lack of direct exposure to a diversity of contemporary art you know, for their experience, for their learning, and that and that we do have we do have a, a situation where we, you know there is kind of a, a symptom of pee in their own juices. Yeah, to to certain extent, I would agree, but we must. Um, Recognize these libraries. In fact, my early education, before I went, I went to uh, study art formally. Uh, I used the gallery, uh, library, and also I studied all the masters in stone sculpture in Zimbabwe. And for one was a favorite at the time because I had had an experience at the uh, Drifonte Animation and the Cornelius Mambu. But Drifonte Animation was part of the Serima, Serima mission setup. So, in fact, I was stepping into the, an extension of Serima. Serima, I think people are aware of this church. So, from there, I discovered the land. How to use light, and it's an important aspect, especially when I'm carving or, or working with uh, modeling, clay modeling and stuff like this. I like things which are uh, which block. Yeah. So uh, also the lead. Yeah. If we can take stuff from it, and sometimes it's not so easy to. Detect where, where it's coming from. And I think it's very important that when you are exploring a contemporary artist, sometimes the thing to study is probably the philosophy of the artist. Why are they going with What is their life experience which has brought them to this, this part? And, and then you, from there you depart. Mpomerano was important to me. But there were times I went mad. Because I would come to work with a sledgehammer. I was working in Dolomite, Chapum. And I would just smash the spot. I said, wow, I said, they when you wake up, what do you, what, what do you say to me? It was a dog, <laughs> which I had to pay for later. I said, I said, I'm going to go with it. You would pay for something. Yeah, so I, of the, to the young people, mm -hmm. that, that's my answer. You, If you are going to be a sculptor, forget about it. If you are going to be a painter, forget about um, Robert Paul. After distilling the essence of what you because, for example, a Robert Paul fence, if you have to look at it from two meters away, there's nothing. It's like the work of a ground which you did, but you didn't protect it. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if like you they are having the garden, they usually are in the closet. You go upstairs, you look there, you see younger, and it's fresh. So you, these are the lessons that I would derive from the lessons. I brought it from. 